Well, good day there, folks. Thanks for joining us this week. I wonder when you were a child, if one of your parents ever said to you words like this, you have a most vivid imagination. You know, at the time, you would probably take it as a put down, as a negative. But over the course of recent years, we have come to understand what a wonderful God-given gift your imagination is. Today our topic is using our imaginations to build and to paint a better future. Of course, it was Albert Einstein that said these words. He said, imagination is everything. It's a preview of life's coming attractions. I don't know whether you've ever considered yourself to be any good at painting, but come with me. I wanted to take you into the studio. We are all artists painting a picture. The canvas we paint on is our own mind. The brush strokes we make are our thoughts that we allow space for in our mind and our words that we speak each day. The colours we use flow from our own imagination. We are painting a picture of a reality that does not yet exist. Because the picture we paint is the picture of our own future. It has no tangible form in our present reality. You cannot see it with your eyes or touch it with your hands. And yet it exists. We are creators and we are constantly creating our own reality. The famous Swiss artist Alberto Giacometti once said, the object of art is not to reproduce reality but to create a reality of the same intensity. Of course, the first problem we're going to face when we begin to think about imagination is the fact that we live in such a negative world. I don't know whether you've ever thought about that, but the world around us that we live in every day is incredibly negative. Put on the news at night and every story is negative. You open a newspaper and Every story you read there is negative. You go to work and the people at work are talking about things that are negative. And we are surrounded every day of our lives with great and constant negativity. And what happens, even if we're not aware of it, that negativity begins to seep into our own soul. And without us even realizing it, we become negative people. And when this negativity rises up within us and somebody happens to have the temerity to ask us how we are today, we don't hold back. We let loose and we tell them, oh, I'll tell you what's wrong today. My back is aching. My kids are totally out of control. My wife is sick. She, she could even have COVID. The car has broken down again. I, I, I don't know whether I've got a job after the end of this month. I don't know whether I'll be able to pay the rent. I've got a headache all the time. I just feel sick. I'm just so over it. Isn't it amazing, friends, how easily and how articulate we can be when we are describing all the negative things in our life? It's natural. It just flows naturally out of us and we exude a negativity. So if I were to invite you into the, into the studio to paint in that frame of mind, you would get a canvas 
and you would pick up some paint, you would choose the black paint and you would choose the biggest and the thickest brush and you'd be splashing black paint everywhere because you're angry and frustrated and there's things going wrong and there's things that are not right and you're expressing this exuberantly with black paint all over the picture and you finish up with a picture there on the easel that is just one horrible picture. It's a picture of doom and gloom. It's a picture that's so negative even looking at it depresses you even more. And then what happens is all of this negativity is compounded by the fact that we have ingrained deep into our subconscious mind some fundamental beliefs that we have accepted and believed in some cases for many, many decades. I'm talking about beliefs like this. I'll never be any good. I'm never going to get that promotion. I'll always be sick. I'll never be able to get my own house. I want to tell you, friends, that all of these things, these core inner beliefs that we have adopted and ingrained deep into our subconscious, they are all absolute lies. But right here and right now, I want to take the torchlight of truth and shine it directly at those lies that you have believed. Because I want to tell you today clearly and emphatically that you can be anything you want to be, you can do anything you want to do, and you can have anything you want to have. That is the absolute truth. And those things are true, absolutely true, regardless of your background. It doesn't matter what your gender is, what your sexual orientation is, how old you are, what religion you are. None of these things matter because for all of these people, for every person, these truths are absolutely true. You can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. You can have anything you want to have. You might be sitting here and say, well, it all sounds very good and all sounds very nice, but I wouldn't have a clue where to even start. Let me suggest a start for you. I wanted to invite you today back into the studio, back into that quiet place. So you come into the studio, you take your seat and you look around and there in front of you is that easel with that painting on that we described a moment again that is just black paint everywhere. It's just dripping with negativity and despair. And I want you to look at that painting and I want you to pick up the painting and throw it into the fire. You do that because you believe now that those things you once believed are no longer true, so you burn it in the fire. And as the flames begin to die down and the old picture is destroyed, you pick up a brand new canvas and you set it on the easel and you pick up a fresh set of paint brushes and open some fresh paint and there, in the quiet place, you begin to imagine. You begin to imagine, what could my life be like? If it's really true that I could do anything and be anything and have anything, what would my life look like? Sit there and dream. Sit there and imagine. Sit there and conceive a new picture. You see, most of us, somewhere deep down within us, we do have a dream, we do have a longing, we do have a desire that's been maybe there for even our entire life almost. But what's happened over the course of the years is that that dream has kind of got old and gnarly. Maybe it's got frozen up in unbelief. Maybe it's got crippled by worry and anxiety and doubt. Or maybe you were just convinced that that dream could never ever happen to you, that it is absolutely impossible. So give it up as a, give it up as, as a, as a fantasy, put it aside and get on with the real life. What a terrible way to think, friends. But here we are in the studio 
The studio for you is any place where you can be alone, undisturbed, where you can have some space and quiet to think and to dream. And imagine that blank canvas that we mentioned and the fresh lot of paint. And you begin to imagine a new future. And you pick up the paints and you begin to paint. You begin to put brush strokes on the page. And as you do, the picture inch by inch, slowly but surely, it takes place before your eyes. You give it colour. You give it lots of detail. You put every aspect of your dream, your vision, your desire on that page. You put it all in there. You make it colourful. You make it warm. You make it exciting. You paint the picture and paint it beautifully and colourfully. And, and, and then you sit back and you think, this picture is my future. And so you sit back Look at the picture with a smile on your face, content that this is truly a much better picture of your future. And then after a period of time, you get up and you leave the quiet place, you leave the studio, but you take the picture with you. You take it with you into your everyday life. And what you're going to do every day from now on once or twice a day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, you're going to repeat this whole process. You're going to take that picture and you're going to enter into the picture. And you're going to experience all of the emotions again. And feel how it feels to have every dream realised in your life. You are already there. It's already done. And of course, you could not help but be filled with gratitude. So you would simply say, thank you. Thank you thank you and gratitude would fill your day. So if you do that every morning and every night, say even just for five or ten minutes, I can tell you you will be amazed at what will happen in your life. It will change everything because as we said before, the way you think about your life and the way you talk about your life is your life. Well, friends, I hope this has been helpful today. It's been great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Um, just before you go, if I could ask you one small favour, it, it will sound corny, I know, but if you could click a like on this video and also hit, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, those little things um, help us enormously in this world called YouTube where we need as much traction and help as we can get. So if you could do that for me, I'd very much appreciate it. But I want you to, to uh, have just the best week and keep living in the now. And I will see you next week on the next video. So until then, God bless you. Really, really good. Mm -hmm.